You didn't hear any of that. <laughs> oh, wow. I am terrible. I am so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, uh, because you guys didn't hear any of that, let me go ahead and just say, welcome to Uber Nerd Gaming, everyone. Uh, my name is Joshua, and uh, today we're playing through Metroid Prime Remastered, which I just recently got the physical copy of uh, after some time. Uh, I know that we started Cuphead last week, but uh, I've been wanting to play this, so uh, forgive me. I completely forgot the mic was muted, so I apologize for the beginning. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do? Anyways, real quick recap of everything I just said. Don't forget, you're, we're now on TikTok and on uh, Instagram at Uber Nerd Gaming. Uh, you can find all of our old episodes on thearcadearchives.com. Uh, don't forget to check out the blog there, too. Uh, Kripawi, uh is also down there. That's our blog as well for pop culture. Check out the QR code to scan that, and you can head on over to the site. Uh, and, of course, don't forget about Danny the Ultrasonic Player, my uh, brother in... Uh, arcade brother here, uh, who is uh, uh, doing really great doing uh, Mario Kart 8. So, my audio mixing is a little off today, so I apologize. But anyways, let's get started play some Metroid Prime Remastered. I'm gonna play normal. I usually do casual playthroughs anyways, so... Uh... But yeah. Ooh, load screens. Load screens. I'll try to make sure that I actually make sure the mic is not muted next time. <laughs> Oh man, what are you gonna do? And if I and then if I distress beacon has been tracked to the derelict space vessel in order of Talon Four. Okay, here I go, putting on my armor and heading on out. So I remember playing this game on the GameCube. I wasn't. Too excited about it when it first came out. Um, I believe correctly, my younger brother uh, wanted to play it, and I believe he got a copy of it. And then, uh, because he got a copy of it, I decided I wanted to try it out. And uh, I have a lot of fun, fun memories playing this. I never played the second one, and I have played the third one when it came out on the Wii. Uh, but yeah, this is a fun game, and uh, I believe about this time, I was still kind of in my first-person shooter phase, so this was like a perfect, uh, this was perfect for me. This looks beautiful, like, the, the remaster just looks so good. Just look at, look at, look at Samus. Look at that armor. Look at how that just shines. My gosh. Looks awesome. I'm interested to see how the controls work. I don't remember how the controls worked in, uh, the original. This has been so long since I played it. Okay. Alright. Make sure I scan everything. How do I scan? So I turn to the ball. Okay, that's how I shoot. So I just shoot. Jump. Jump. Shoot. This is. I don't want to use up all my missiles. Oh, there we go, scanner. Yeah, this is a game you have to like scan a lot of stuff.
Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I remember. Now I remember how to play it. Okay. It's been a while since I've used these controls. Of course, the controls are different in this version of the game, because they did the traditional two-stick version as opposed to used to be. Oh. Scan, 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 scan some more. Cool, I can see the mist on her visor. That's cool. Reactor core and propulsion environment norm. Emergency evacuation area, environmental unstable. Biohazard research, environment normal. <laughs> I hear stuff going on right now. I hear stuff. I see stuff. It's been a long time since I played this game. New creature entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Parasite. Environment. They travel in swarms. They travel in swarms. Where are the rest of them? Phase on batch. Biohazard this materials batch 009.A destination deck base. Biohazard materials phase on batch 0142.A destination deck beta. The platform does not look like it can be activated from this room. What is this thing? Morphology unknown. Info high levels of radiation detected. Space pirate. Death caused by severe flame damage to exoskeleton. Now let's just show some incredible large muscle structures surrounding the jaw area. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Keep pop entrance. The vessel has already been jettisoned. Okay, that's what it's been jettisoned to. Uh -huh. Oh, it's the parasites. Looks like somebody survived. Space pirate. Weak life signs detected. Tail section possesses a mouth like orifice. Most likely used for birthing offspring. Ooh. Okay. Launched. Escape 
has been launched. Something's definitely going on around here. Something's definitely going on around here. Charge me, destroy the rubble. Boom. Nice. That'll work. Let's see. Oh, there's those parasites again. And that way, huh? Alright, let me see. In the area here. Ventilation is the irrigation room. What's this go to? Connection elevator. I'm sure that just brings me back up, right? Uh oh. Okay. Platform active. Oh, nope. Oh, no. Why? Go, go, go. Alright, I'll get these controls down before the end of the game here. Complete. Sorry, both legs of this creature are broken. Severe internal damage. <coughs> Let me put you out of your misery. Whoa, what is that thing? Morphology unknown, little life signs detected. Please tell me you don't have to fight that thing. The car carapace of the larva becomes rigid. Parasite egg in pupa stage. Fluid sacs in the mouth enlarge after mutation. Combat muta uh, mutation applications are complete. Well, they weren't throwing a birthday party, that's for sure. I can't remember if I actually beat the game or if I. Specimen cell B. Sub status unknown. Rejection of phase on compound detected. Specimen cell A. Hibernation. Transfer of phase on batch. Specimen C. Unknown. Rejection of phase on compound. So I don't remember if I actually beat this game or not. I know I beat the third one for sure. I can't remember if I beat this one. Ballistic support needed in specimen block F. Uh-oh. Uh. and playing around. Oh, I think I killed it. Whatever it was, I think I killed it. Uh-oh. 
I just jumped into alien encounter. This species has been horribly mutated. There is no life readings. A new pirate data has been entered into your logs. Get data decoded. Sevis has fallen. All ground personnel are presumed dead. Either killed by the hunter clan, clad, the hunter clad in armor, or in the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. <coughs> Our research figures. Orpheon, Satius, and Valbrom were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Frigate Orpheon is now docked at the Vortex outpost. Orpheon's cargo appears to have a 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy but on restricted feeding schedules due to the uncertain supply status. We are ready to begin research on the Metroids and other promising life forms. Security status remains at cold blue. No signs of pursuit from the hunter. Phase on fuse to phase two infection needed to do into the tank. Phase on batch test complete. <coughs> phase on diffusion stage one parasite larva diagnosis mass 1.2 length 0.5. Cell structure is stable. Auto target disabled. Oh, that's nice. Phase on infusion stage four. Lava diagnostic. Mass fourteen point five. Length forty point three. Cell structure failing. We're doing some kind of testing in here. What is this? Must, must encountered in large numbers. Sad. Eight creatures have been entered in your log book. Auto turret. Use missiles to break the outer casing. Holding phase on level unknown. Status xenomorphic life form unstable. Caution. Plasmite. Native to Talon 4. Ooh. Here's something. Something's going on. That thing is pretty much dead, so it's not that thing. Whatever it is. Yeah, like I said, it's been a long time since I played this game, so it's almost like playing it new. At least remote begins in 13 hours. Phase on radiation readings must be reported to Deck Commander before batch disposal. Let's step into the hologram. Alright, that's all that's here, I guess. Internal damage detected. Everybody out of your misery. I love that little touch when you, when you see a big bright light, you can actually see her uh, face in the visor. I think it's a really nice touch. I tried to emulate that when I did a zoomer. Titan larva. Uh oh. 
I'm trying to investigate. Will you just not? Please. Will you just not, please? I am trying to investigate. Leave me alone. War wasp. It's the war wasp. Please, I'm not a normal. Please, I'm not a toxic. It's the plasma. Shoot bat. In town four. We didn't take four. <gasps> sure is a spaceship. Uh oh. Death caused by severe lacerations to the abdomen. That's not good. That's not good. Yep. Alright. Well, it's definitely not a party. Lacerations. Have this here. Caused by removal of the Toro ordinance. Ooh. Door is tightly sealed and does not appear to be receiving power. This device does not seem to be functional. There must be something nearby that will turn. Oh. That'll turn on. Please insert Medallic Sphere to. So I'm getting hit. Ah, dang it. Dang it. You're off me. Dead. This creature just looks like it, it struggled to get to through the door. Uh -oh. Yeah, that'll probably open that door again. Your lacerations. Caused by acid burns to the face. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not a good prize. 
to save. Yes, I would like to save. Thank you for allowing me to save. Ooh, yay. Let's see what's behind door number two. Probably not something friendly. I would assume. Oh, I do not have a good feeling about this. I have a very bad feeling about this. Yep, it is. female, genetically enhanced to by unknown means. Weak spot has been detected in the creature's mouth. Use the auto-targeting to acquire this new target. Alright, get back to the combat visor. Hopefully this won't be as hard as the bosses in Cuphead. <laughs> uh, we have fun here. Oh, oh boy. It's right by my head. Oh, bounce right off. Oh crap. She's down. She's down for the count. Oh. Oh no. That's not a good prize for beating her. I think it's time to run. Oh yeah, I think it's time to get out of here. The door, open the door. Open the door, Al. Open the door. Get in the get in the get the thing. Go, quick, 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 quick. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, snap. Get my way out of turret. Oh crap. I'm time to fight you. You're already dead anyways. You're not a really good aimer, are you? Parasites. Nasty parasites. Oh, they're coming in droves now. Oh, here they come. We've got five minutes. Nasty. 
going. They're after me, but I'm going. Alright, go, go, go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go, go, go. Crap. I have no missiles. The door, Hal. The door. Can't stay here. Gotta go. Things are getting on my nerves. Get out of my way. Open the doors, open the doors. Hope I'm going the right way. Oh, oh, I was almost smashed to death. Take to get back up there. It didn't take me this long to get down here. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, it's Ridley. Oh boy. Oh boy. Turret disabled. Good. Come on. It's a thing. Go, 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 go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, busted my suit. Well, that's not good. That's not a good prize. More fall, more function. Missile malfunction. Charge beam malfunction. Grapple beam malfunction. Everything is malfunctioning. Uh, get out of here. Oh, don't go that way. Come on, come on, come on. Open the door, open the door, open the door. Do it, man. Uh-oh. Wow, this looks beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. Let's get out of here. Follow Ridley. Wheel. Tracking on an enemy target has been lost. Ground base recon required. Begin landing sequence. So we're gonna land this puppy. Love it.
extras unlocked in the main menu. Do you want to save? Yes, I do. Game has been saved. Alright. Ship looks okay, I guess. Well, let's see where we need to go. It's a beautiful waterfall. Man, they did a good job of, of uh, fixing this up. Whoa! Well, now that not everything in this planet is going to kill me. to know that that's there. Okay. Well, that was an exciting beginning, wasn't it? Saturine. Well, I guess it's mushroom. really cool. Volatile chemicals within the weeds, toxic fungi cap may explode if agitated. Poisonous, poisonous flesh of this blast cap helps keep it from being eaten. It also detonates its fungal cap when it senses even slight contact. Ooh. Zoomer. Itself to walls, other surfaces, avoid contact with spikes. Basic nerve center located directly below the zoomer's mandibles detects nutrients. Spikes protective for casual predators, but the lack of reinforcement in purpose makes this a response to any of Those are those blast things you just said. Sap sack. because it's to the sap sack it's nearly eaten out of its existence the evolution of a sack saved it now the only brave and indigenous creatures dare to die
charge. Yeah, if you're wondering why I was just standing still, I was trying to charge. Oh, cool, the moisture gets on my geyser, that's cool. retractable spikes. Dreamer is an evolutionary offshoot of the Zuma family. When threatened, it extends its lethal spikes and reacts to its head, keeping its armor carapace. So, in other words, I can't kill it. that thing. They're not being coming from a plant store. Blood flower. There's a glass shield on this door blocking access. Now, since you can the glass shield is invulnerable to beam weapons, explosive weapons may damage it. Let's so get my these back. This is back. Alright, so if I'm not supposed to go this way, where am I supposed to go? stuff. Oh, that's right, I don't have a charge beam either. I keep forgetting I don't have a charge thing. So where am I supposed to go then? I guess I'm supposed to go that way. Oh, that's right, I don't have a morph ball. Access to Chozo West. Moon's Quest granted. Just want to make sure that there's nothing hidden in here. Trail for a quick. Can't do much because I don't have much to do. There's tools to do. Hope you guys are having fun watching this. I think I'm probably going to play till the next save point, and then I will end it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget in the chat if you have any tips for me as I'm going through the game. Don't forget to give me some tips. I'm always grab the tips. I'm trying to stay away too much from spoilers, though. Incoming scan data. Seismic activity. Seismic disturbance of the site. Hive tone viewer. Okay. Beetle burrowing set with extreme resilience. These pillars have collapsed from erosion. Carbon dating cannot determine the age of the structures. Wow. 
Ready? Chozo Ruins. Falls, can't think there. Let's see, it's in here. Store is open. Oh crap. Scarab. Exploding parasites that can bed their bodies in solid rock. Scarab thinks nothing of sacrificing themselves for the safety of this form. The hostile life form is sighted. They block its progress by embedding themselves in floors and walls, embedding scarabs violently self-destruct. I'm threatened. Okay. Uh, we'll stay away from you. Entirely composed of ocular tissue, capable of launching sustained energy beams when active. The ion is sensitive to light and will close if bright light flash. Interesting. New choosing more. It's a good chance they did. Many years have passed since the Chozo first took root in this land. The passage of time has always been a source of fascination to us. It is the brief it is a belief of many Chozo sages that the truth of the universe hide within the the tumbling currents of the time's flow. Even as we search for answers here, however, we find illuminated in others, unexpected places we know. Not how the ability has come to us, but recently many Chozo have been able to sense things beyond the realm of ordinary perception. Strange sights and inexplicable sensations flood our minds, filling us with visions. We take this growing ability to be a sign of our burgeoning harmonization with the infinite. Perhaps, finally, the universe's secrets are becoming known to us. Oh boy. Concentrated poison identified in the tree leaves. A highly reflective surface disappears. Don't touch the tree leaves. So much protection my suit actually gives. I heard some buzzing. I did. More wasp. Not like you. Oh, 
why they do that. Was it a safe point? Oh, we can go a little bit longer. It's not even 9 o'clock yet. Let's go a little bit longer. Usually only go about an hour and a half, but I can go a little bit longer. Oh, this game looks so nice. This is a GameCube game. Plasma Beam. Small insect capable of storing and releasing thermal energy. Plasmite are attracted to sources of heat, thriving on energy present there. They emit light when hunting and blood smell small bursts of thermal energy when threatened. but function. Here's possess traces of high level toxins. Train, shelter, and work. Hyper the pillars are armed. They are relying on their high beast to hit the fence. Ram war wasps. Only species on Talon Fort who evolved to a true high flying. Small groups when threatened and circle their enemies at high speeds, striking from the sides as a single intelligence.
again. Well, that was fun. All right. Got my missiles back. Yeah, baby. Press R to fire. Press ZR and A to switch back. Dangerous insects in here. Could have a shot either, I guess. What's this? Oh, this is a map. It's a map room. Yep, map room. Got a lot to go. I don't have a map to place, so Let's see where I'm. Oh, oh, oh the scarabs. GameCube game, this still looks amazing.
go down that one area now. Could go down four. So like all these beams do are just like look around and like shoot laser beams out of their eyes. It's like they don't eat. Ah. see him. Do a little backtracking. Yeah, the bees. That's its way to shrink. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. That's with the shield for a second. Okay, no tricks. I feel this is a trap. I thought so. The only way to know for sure is spring the trap. Oh, it's Jedi talking about. Just keep shooting until they're all dead. Keep moving around so they can't get me. That's my plan here. Oh, we got a massive one here. Plated beetle, warmed armor, burrowing insect, vulnerable only in the rear abdomen. Cranial plating can repel frontal attacks. This gives it the advantage in combat, allowing it to make ramming attacks, only surfacing when it detects vibrations above. It then maneuvers itself so to always face its rival, keeping its exposed abdomen detected. Uh, that's not good. Oh, okay. So that's how you scrape. Good. Toro, Toro, come on. There you go. Come on, come on. Come on. 
Bring it in. Bring it in. Get on. You're not gonna get me if you just keep dancing. Really too bright, are you? That's fine. Oh, got me that time. I wasn't ready that time. to go down soon. Yeah. Gotcha. Ew. Ah, <laughs> sucker. Hey, look who's here! It's Danny the Ultrasonic Player! What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream! Thanks for stopping by! Wee! And again, folks, don't forget to check out Danny's stream. Uh, it's Danny Ultranon here on the Twitter. Uh, check his stream out. It's really fun. He's playing Mario Kart 9 right now. Or, Mario Kart 8. There's no 9 yet. <laughs> oh, we got Tony Hawk going on here. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Fine. Stupid more fall upgrade. Around these corners, so I just keep shooting. Oh, there's one. So I got the more fall back. Let's go back to where I was before. Those beans. Thanks, man. Danny, the ultrasonic player, says uh, congratulations. Yeah, I love when those things just pop out of the ground out of nowhere. Congratulations, give me a lot more ball. Thank you, Danny. Hey, I love this game though. This game is beautiful. Like they did a great job with the remaster. What did I hit? Oh, oh. They did a beautiful job with this remaster. This game looks gorgeous. Like, I thought it looked really pretty on the GameCube, but it looks even better now. Hey, yo, Danny, are you, uh, you streaming tonight? Let me know in the chat. I guess I don't have any bombs yet. Okay. Maybe I need to get that upgrade. That upgrade, though. Let's see. Point. Oh, okay. Not tonight. 
What are you streaming next? If you don't mind me asking. Alright, this also replenished my everything, so... Ah. I do not like those little scarabs. Oh, no, sir, I do not. Super Mario Brothers 3? As in, like, Super Mario Advanced, or as in, uh... As, uh, or, uh... Because I know you've been playing Mario Kart 8 for the last couple of days. That's actually been a lot of fun to watch, by the way. If you haven't checked it out yet. original NES version. Oh, okay. That's cool. Alright, so we're going back in here. I already killed everything in here, but... There's this little place over here we can go into. And yes. Nice. Are you playing it on uh, NSO or <laughs> are you hooking up an old NES to streaming? <laughs> I'm sure there's a way you can do that. Ah, okay. It's because it's on March 10th, Mario Day. Okay, cool. Nice, nice. Yeah, nah, that's two days from now, so Friday. Nice. Okay. I feel like I've already been here. Access to Magmore Caverns, granted. Hmm. Alright, let's go. I mean, at the very least. Well, mark your calendars, folks. Mario on uh, Mario Day, March the tenth. Danny will be playing old uh, Mario Brothers three, one of my favorite Mario Brothers games of all time. Oh, this is very interesting. Shriek Bat. It looks more detailed and crisp. Oh, yeah. I had turned the temperature, making them easy to spot. With thermal imaging, they roost on cave sailings while hunting for small prey, fiercely territorial. They will dive bot anything that wanders near it. I won't give it a chance to dive bot. I mean, look at the fog on my uh, visor there. That's attention to detail right there. Whoa. Is this a save point? Yeah, it is. Ah, 
Ah, let's go a little bit longer. Reasonably sub-iconic carrion feeder. Aircrest can be breached by missiles. Oh yeah, it's about to get really hot in here. Behind this door. Yeah. I don't think I can go. Yeah, I don't think I can go that far. Not right now. Four o'clock on Friday, stream wise. Hopefully, nothing comes up. Especially since my sister and brother in law are expected in their second child. Oh! Well, congratulations, my friend! Becoming an uncle again. That's such a cool feeling. Well, mark your calendars, folks. Hopefully, everything will go right. And around 4 o'clock on Friday, any ultrasonic player will be playing. If not, that means that he, is, he has another nephew, I believe. I'm reading that right. Congratulations. So cool. I'm very sure that's a depiction of a Metroid, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so I didn't think going down there was a good idea anyway, so... Let's go back up. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. I'm gonna play a little bit longer. Uh, okay. So, I, I know I've been keep on saying this, but I think this time I mean it for sure. Uh, we're gonna stop at the next save point. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. A spider... Oh, definitely cannot... Can go that way? Okay. So make sure you're following Danny the Ultrasonic Player. He just said that I may decide to stream early on that day, depending on how things go. So check your... Make sure you're following him on the, twi on the Twitch to get notifications when he goes live. So you do not want to miss that. You do not want to miss that. future is a vague thing, ever-changing and always in doubt. Even if the Chozo could gain the ability to foresee the future, it would be a hollow gift, for we could never hope to control what has yet to occur. The fountain is an example of this. The day may come when its waters dry up and there is nothing we can do to stop such a tragedy. But... We do know this, unlike the uncertain flow of water, the power of our will is strong and enduring. The will of the Chozo will never run dry. The behind the scenes story of this game is an interesting one too. Uh, you mean about Metroid? Metroid Prime?
the city is a popping for it. Appears to be the first three locking mechanisms that seal the gate. The lock is active, but the key slot is sealed by a weak metal grating. Same with the other ones, too. Oh, yeah! Now, are we talking about the original or the remastered version? I like interesting stories. Oh, yeah, okay, you're talking about the original. It's so weird how they dropped this game, though, because, like, it just dropped out of nowhere. And energy tank! Yeah, alright. More life. Life giving life. Alright, now, how do I get to that missile thing? Hmm? How does that happen? Oh, the original GameCube version. Okay. You got a cool story about it? I would love to hear it. Let's see. So, this just goes back out to where I was. It looks like there's an elevator to where I need to go, so maybe I need to go back. Okay. Bleep. Bleep. Here we go. I'll have to, I, I really, hopefully the article is still out there and I can find it. Okay, so you're looking for the article. This other door. I don't think I can jump up there just yet. Yeah, I can't jump up there just yet. Yeah, it's really weird how this game just kind of dropped out of nowhere. Alright, now... Which one is the... It's the one directly to my left. Okay. Ah, that's the one I couldn't go up to because I don't have the magnet stuff yet. Just go before the turn. All right. <laughs> Behind door number one. Okay, so I can't go up that way because I don't have the magnet. The morph ball yet. So the only, only other choice is over here, back in the main area. So I'm gonna take that route that I just took. <laughs> take it right back. Pinball. Was there a pinball game? I think I can vaguely remember a pinball game. I believe it was for the DS. I remember they also, if I remember correctly, there was uh, Metroid Prime Hunters for the DS because I can remember that demo, like having the demo when the game when the uh, system first came out. Did that game ever come out? I don't remember. Did I ever get the full game? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm definitely doing some backtracking in this game. There's gonna be a lot of backtracking. That's fine. If you play games like Bioshock and stuff like that, it's standard fare. I just wanted to make sure I had all my ducks in a row here. Okay. So, let's see. Let's check the map here. So, over to my left, up here, there's a door. I have no way of getting up there, except right now. Maybe I do. Hold on.
Also, the music in this game slaps. I hope they drop a uh, soundtrack to go with the game. But, like, they just dropped this game out of nowhere, man. Like, just nowhere. And then, uh, when it was supposed to come out in hard copy, I went to the store, like, that day, and nobody even knew it was coming out. Like, none of the stores near me knew this game was coming out. Um, and then, I tried to look for the thing, and none of the stores even had, uh, displays or... Alright, you giant bees, get away from me. Um, uh, not the bees! Not the bees! Are they just gonna keep coming out of that hive? Yeah, I think that's gonna happen. Let's just go. Oh, ah! Oh, the fire and into the frying pan. I liked it better when this game was not trying to kill me. Oh, you can blast the, the hive with uh, missiles? Okay, well, that's fine. I just run away from it. It's fine. Ah, give me one of these. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long time since we played this game. But yeah, it dropped, and then I tried to get the game as soon as I could. Um, and uh, nobody had it. Nobody even knew it was existed. In fact, uh, Target um, even took it off their website for a little bit. Um, But I was able to find it again and then uh, tell Target app to let me know when I got some more in stock. And I got some, and then I got an alert a few days ago. Oh, I hear those bees buzzing. Tried to look for the hard copy in two GameStops, but no dice, yeah. So weird. Chozo script translated. The surge of negative energy brought by the meteor far exceeded our expectations. We choose Chozu. Have yet to find a way to rid ourselves of the great poison. All we can do now is seal it away and wait for the day when its power to purify the poison appears. However, it is already impossible to collect all pieces of the great poison, as it is already spread seeping into the planet and hardening so oh whoa, 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 whoa. what happened what happened oh must have dived in so then I got a uh, notification fountain choked by overgrowth toxin levels are high okay. so then I got a notification from target and I bought this game as quickly as I could, hoping that no more scalpers, because I looked up on, like, Mercari, and, like, the scalpers have definitely got these copies. Quick. Somehow. Toxin levels are near 90% in local water supply. Ooh. Okay, can't go that way. Definitely cannot go that way. So luckily, I was able to get the, a copy of it. I don't know anyone else out there is having some... I 
think a Metroid movie could work. There's a lots of source material to go on, even if the manga is, even the manga is interesting. Yeah. Um, obviously, Metroid is uh, very much heavily influenced by Alien. In fact, it has a lot of callbacks to Alien, including uh, one of the, the villains being called Ridley. Wait, did I go through both of those doors? No, I didn't go to the ones directly in front of me. I think I can get to that one. Um, I think a Metroid movie would be cool. I just don't think it would be as family friendly as like a Mario movie. I'm kind of hoping that maybe with the success of Super Mario Brothers, is this the same? Nope, this is not the same. With the su success of uh, Mario Brothers, it would definitely be a movie. Uh, but a lot of people would totally compare it to, like, Alien. Alright. Whoa. What the sand scratch is that? Reaper Vine. Powerful rock dwelling tentacle. Single eye upon Reaper Vine keeps a constant vigil, but its vision is limited to 10 meters. It scythe like appendage on the tip of its horn to lethal sharpness. The Reaper Vine will swing this blade wildly at anything it enters. It's under perception. Okay. I'm gonna shoot it. I'm not gonna shoot it. I'm gonna shoot it. Incoming scan data. Increased Warwaffs activity detected. Strong hive presence within the region. Interesting. That comes from my ship? I'm gonna assume that comes from my ship. Oh crap! Oh crap! jump that? I think I can jump that. Um, but yeah, I definitely think this would be a more PG-13 movie. I don't think it should go as far as, like, Alien. Even though it was inspired by it. But it definitely, like, this is definitely going to be a more violent video game than I'm, I'm used to playing on the stream. Uh-oh. The war wasps are back. I don't have any more ball bombs yet. Oh, let me test your idea there, Danny. Yeah, okay. Danny is right on the money. Thank you, Danny. He will not return. Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. I hope you're not attached to something bigger. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look at the condensation. Like, as I'm walking through. That is so cool. Alright, anything trying to kill me in here yet? Anything want to try? Last machines. Go through this door first. What does that say? That which fouls the water seeks the sun. Interesting. It's critical. Contact with contaminated water extremely hazardous. Mushrooms like it. Oh snap.
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love, uh, Danny said, yeah, it really gives you that immersion. I, one of my favorite parts, and I think I said this before or earlier in the stream, is that I liked, my favorite part of the Metroid games was, oh, crap. My favorite part of the Metroid games is, like, when you see bright lights, um, you can see Samus' eyes in the visor, uh, which is really cool. And, especially, in, I don't know if it, well, it'll do it in this version, but in the original, her eyes track where your, where your controller goes. So it looks like she's actually looking where you're controlling. So that's kind of cool. But, But yeah, this came out during a time when I, I think I was still in my first-person shooter phase. I was still very much loving first-person shooters. It's not going to slap me, I'm not too far. Oh, Jennifer Hale did the uh, voice work. Does that, was that added for the special edition or is that from the original? Okay, looks like we're going to have to go down there. Not incredibly excited about this prospect. But... Looks like it's the only way I can go forward. Okay. been activated. The four ruin runic symbols is the room. Oh, she did record for the original. Okay. Was, is in the room. Must be activated. Okay, so I have to activate each one. So I have to go over here. And I have to go back up. symbols. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm close to danger. That's cool. I didn't know she recorded for Samus. I would love to see... I know that they're working on Metroid Prime 4. I would love to see her actually, like... Well, who did Samus in the, uh, the Wii game that a lot of people don't like? Find the other two. That's a symbol right there. Yep, that's a symbol. Die, you. Go away. Nobody likes you. Stupid murder vine. Go away, stupid murder vine. Let's see. Find the other symbol. Is that it? Yes, I think that's it. Roots, organic, over walls, no. Decomposition detected. Host plant appears to thrive on toxic water. Yeah, other item. That was it. 
Because I think there was voice acting in that game. Okay, all the symbols are activated. Okay. I never played Other M. Like, I like the Metroid games. But I don't play, like, every single one of them. My favorites are, of course, this game. Um... I like, uh, Zero Mission, Fusion, Disaster struck suddenly, we had a vague, dark foreboding that became the truth, a meteor appeared from nowhere, casting a dark shadow of debris over the land with its violence and impact, its destructive force bent the fallen star burned itself out rapidly and the incident should have faded into memory, but the meteor brought with it corruption, a great poison burst forth from the land, a strange energy that clawed at natural life with its ferocity. That strange negative energy emitted from the meteor expanded and to encompass Talon Four in a night as a spider weaves a web. Uh, you like the original, Fusion, Zero Mission, and Prime. I know a lot of people my age, and your age, Danny, um, really like Charge Beam. Oh, cool. Uh, Super Metroid. I've actually never played Super Metroid. Yeah, Charge Beam, baby! Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Of course you all wake up. Yeah, I'm gonna get my charge me. I'm going down there. We... Alright. Great. Um, I never played Other M. I never played Hunters, even though I played the demo. I definitely never played, um, uh, what was that one that they had on the 3DS that failed miserably? Uh, Federation Force? I don't think I've ever played Pinball. Am I missing any? Let me know if I'm missing any. Because I believe there was a pinball game. Oh, no, there's something in the back there I should have gone through. Oops. Go there now. I will remedy that situation. Those need to shut down and go away. Go away. Go away. away. Alright, so there should be some door or something here? No. Not here. Samus returns. Yes, I played Samus Returns for the 3DS. I was a little bit bored of it. I'm not gonna lie. It didn't. It didn't grab me. Um, however, I did. I do have a copy of uh, which I actually thought about playing on the stream. Um, ow! 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 Okay. I actually have a copy of, uh, um, crap, there's a game that just came out recently. There's that game that just came out recently. Remind me. Uh, no, 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 no. Dread. Yes. Metroid Dread. Yes. I got a copy of that. I really like that game. That game is really fun. Okay. 
so... Hmm. So I tried to get through there and I couldn't. Was I supposed to? Let's go back a little bit. So now I got my charge beam. So I'm I'm kind of a, I wouldn't say I'm like a huge huge fan, but I'm definitely. I definitely like playing these games, especially Metroid Prime. The path of corruption leads even higher. Alright, thank you, Danny. Just jumping off. When I get to my next save point, I'll be... I'll be uh, heading out, too. Boy's got work tomorrow. Ooh. 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 Okay. Whee. This looks familiar, but maybe it's not. Is this clean water? This poisonous water. I don't know. Wow, these eyeball things are so ridiculous. Okay. Incoming bugs, yeah. What is that thing? New creature. Stone toad. Based on creatures smaller than itself. Bone will only from within. have it. Whoa. Oh, I don't like the way this looks. I've got a bad feeling about this. What the heck is that thing? Why is it attacking me? Look, look. Incinerator droid program for a high temperature waste disposal. High risk of malfunction when an internal power core is damaged. It has minimal combat programming, but it can defend itself if necessary. the ability of to stinger prey. This insect can propel at the tip of its stinger at 20 meters. Yeah. Danny just said something about him being an IG droid, like uh, from Mandalorian. I was going to make a whole Mandalorian joke about Metroid, well, to be honest. But, uh...
Yeah. Yeah, Metroids would definitely be problematic in the Star Wars universe. Oh, did I just win something else? Wow, I've got a lot of power-ups and I just started this game. Contestants, what we've won! Yeah! We can carry more bombs now. Ha ha! Ha! Okay. That's all that's in here. But that means I can kill that frog thing. Just staring at me earlier. forget about that. All right. There you go. Like, I think I've, I fought like three bosses already to this, uh, and then just this first stream. All right. What is this? It is some type of mechanism. Let's scan it real quick first. Yeah, time to give that toad some indigestion. Basic system appears to be operational. Device should operate once power has been restored. Okay. I don't know what that uh, thing's gonna do, but. It drained water. That's great. Didn't know I had to drain water. That's good. Incoming scan data. Foreign technology present. Okay, transport located. Active transport located? This only has a limited number of few minutes before it goes off again. Interesting. I don't remember coming into this room though. Odd. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's what that noise meant. It's a timer. back up. Can I do it? Can I get to wherever I'm supposed to go before that thing goes off again? I guess I can. Right. 
It sounds like the timer's ended already. That might be problematic for me. Okay, no, that, that just ended the... Okay. Great. Jumpin', 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 shoot. Jumpin', shoot. Look everyone, I'm Mega Man. Jump and shoot. Yeah. Oh gosh. This doesn't look friendly. This looks like the opposite of what friendly is. Oh. Yeah! Got a new energy tank. That's it? That's all that's here? I guess so. Can we get out of here? I can't know. Okay. Well, this is problematic. Let's beat the spider ball. I don't have the spider ball yet. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Alright, so I did all that for nothing, essentially. I don't even remember this room, to be honest. Does that lead to another... Did I already activate that machine? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Let's make sure. So we're kind of back to where we started. here to my right. It's over there. The problem is... I get in here. just fell, didn't I? <laughs> Sacrifice for the team. Alright, we gotta save room. Alright. Well then. We're going to leave it here for now. Oh, that was an extra long stream. So awesome. So we're going to leave it here for now, folks. Thank you so much for joining us here for uh, my playthrough of Metroid Prime Remastered. Next week we will be back with more Metroid Prime Remastered. Uh, so keep it here. Keep it locked in. I'm going to save it again just because... Keep it locked in, folks, because uh, we'll be back next week. Um, don't forget to follow me on Uber Nerd Gaming on Twitter, on TikTok, and uh, Instagram. And, uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!